Next up, we have John Del Rimple, Assisted Road Surface Tagging with Machine Learning. Hi there, how's it going? Uh, let me All share right. my screen. Looks good. Great, awesome. Um, yeah, so my name's John Dalrymple. I'm an image processing engineer um, here in Denver, Colorado. Um, I'm going to present about uh, some more of a hobby project I did related to road surface tagging um, using uh, an AI framework. Um, some of you might have seen this uh, a, a version of this presentation at the State of the Map um, in 2023. I've um, done a little bit of work on it since, um, so I'm happy to, to share it. Um, so a little bit of background, a lot of the roads um, in the U.S. were initially imported through the Tiger import in 0708. Um, that included a lot of metadata about the roads, um, or limited metadata about the roads, uh, the names of the roads, rough traces of them, um, but other uh, tags, especially surface tags, which I'm focused on here, um, just did not exist at all. Um, and in rural areas, that becomes an issue because we just have very few OSM contributors in rural areas in the U.S. Um, so we still, you know, have a lot of unedited um, Tiger import data. Um, so you can see the map on the right there. Um, this is just uh, my neck of the woods, everywhere around Denver and Colorado. Um, everything highlighted in red is um, it still has the Tiger reviewed equals no tag. Um, so there's a lot that's been imported with Tiger and um, any edits that have been made haven't been good enough to consider, um, you know, all of those uh, roads considered reviewed. Um, so with that said, uh, there's a lot of fix up work to be done. Um, there's a big limitation of how many, you know, contributions we can make in uh, rural areas, very little interest from armchair mappers and the middle of nowhere for the most part. Um, but if we want to have, you know, very viable um, OSM based routing solutions, um, there are two main tags that I think are the most useful, and that's max speed um, and surface. Uh, for max speed, you know, there's lots of heuristics that already exist based on the highway classification. Is it, you know, an interstate, primary, secondary, tertiary road? Um, and then local laws usually dictate what the speed limits are there. Um, but for surface tags, that requires a survey um, for most rural and residential areas. Um, so yeah, that's what I hope to uh, kind of solve here with my OpenStreetMap Road Surface Classifier project. Um, I use the USGS National Agriculture Imagery Program, or NAIP um, imagery, which is RGB and near IR um, with coverage across the entire United States at one meter resolution, um, and it is public domain, so it's a nice very open data set that I was able to um, train against OpenStreetMap data and come up with a um, classification prediction for paved or unpaved roads. Um, and this was just a massive, massive success. Um, got about 95% accuracy um, with the RGB and near infrared uh, model and about 94% accuracy if I just use RGB. So this has, I think, lots of extensibility to other RGB imagery data sets out there. Um, so here's my challenge set um, from Boulder County, Colorado. So what I did here is using this model, um, I ran over, I ran the model over all of the roads that currently have a surface tag in Boulder County, Colorado. Um, and because you can do multiple predictions on a, a single road, you can get um, a better prediction accuracy than what the data set actually, or like what I, I originally reported. So here I have 97.3% accuracy. Um, but I, you know, there's still a few places, especially in the mountains with the windy roads that um, I'm getting uh, incorrect results. And here's an example of what that looks like. Um, I think there's a lot of sun glare here, so it definitely looks more like an unpaved road than a paved road, um, but it definitely is an asphalt road. Um, so a little bit of work to do here still, um, but overall 97% of roads with correct surface tags is incredible. Um, so what's next? Uh, I want to publish um, a data set of predicted surface tags across the U.S., maybe start small Colorado and expand from there, uh, maybe provide a web-based tool to view these data set results. Um, but more importantly, I want to be able to use this data to augment OSM-based router heuristics um, and also integrate with any OSM router or any OSM editors that exist, um, so JAWSM or Rapid. Um, I'm very interested in trying to get some sort of integration um, with this uh, 
going. So algorithm works today, um, still doing work. There will be iterations, but if you're interested in any downstream integration, uh, please reach out. Um, so thanks. Uh, here's my email and the link to the GitHub. Um, I'll go ahead and post that in Slack as well. Um, but yeah, that's all I have. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you, uh, John, for that presentation. Uh, really happy to see the uh, the advance of AI and how that's going to uh, help us all map more accurately in the future. Yeah, thanks, Brian. Appreciate it.